Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you've all had a great week. It is Saturday, July 13th, and I'm heading up to set up a tent for my son Caleb and my son Andrew's early season cow elk hunt. So we're gonna be hunting in the same area that Caleb and I had tags last year. And to get up here at first light, and you gotta leave the trailhead at like 3 a.m., which means we have to leave our house at 2 a.m. and my boys just do not like getting up that early. So we thought this year we'll set up a backcountry camp, come in the evening before and get a good night's sleep in the tent, and then we'll already be up on the mountain and where we want to be at first light. So it's hot, it's 93 degrees in the valley today. It's probably only about 88 up here, which is still warm, but that five degrees does make a difference. So thanks for coming along. Uh, we'll get some video of getting the camp set up. If I see any wildlife, we'll try and get that on video. I want to let you know we did hit 200 subscribers. When I checked this morning, we had 202. So later on this video, we're going to do the giveaway for the backpacking stove, the backpacking food, the utensil, the, the pot, that kind of stuff. So thanks for everybody who helped us get to 200. Sure appreciate you. Hopefully we'll find some wildlife on this hike today and we'll get this tent set up. Stay tuned for the videos from our elk hunt. We'll do our best to get that on film. I do not have an elk tag this year, at least a cow tag. I may get an over-the-counter spike tag, I'm not sure yet. So that should free me up to do more filming while my boys are hunting. So thanks for coming along, guys. This is one of my favorite spots along this hike, guys. The water slows down just for a second here. A little more calm before it goes over that fall. This green moss is always here, even until November. About November, when it really starts getting cold up here, it'll go. But I've seen that moss here all the way up until November. It's always shady right here, so in this time of the year, when it's hot, you can come in and get out of the heat for a minute. There's a nice little breeze right now, keeping the bugs away. I've got about another half a mile where I can stay on the trail. I'm trying not to come around too fast, keep from getting sick. But, so here's the trail I've been hiking up. And, uh, this trail goes all the way up for nine more miles, but in about half a mile, I've got to jump off of it and just start bushwhacking up the hill. So probably won't video much once I get in the thick stuff. We'll see if we can get up there and get this tent set up before it gets dark. All right, guys, if you watched any of the videos from the last season when we had the cell hunt, I, I found this deadhead. I realized after the fact I didn't identify it as a moose deadhead. Now those of you that hunt and spend a lot of time in the mountains, I'm sure you knew that already just from looking at it, but for those of you that watch the video that don't have moose where you live, that is in fact what this is, is a young moose deadhead, probably its first year of antler growth. It's barely starting to kind of paddle out at the end there, but certainly not much, so it was probably only a year or two, uh, a year old or two years old when it died. So. Anyway, it's cool that it's still here. I left it here last year. I'm going to leave it again. It's been here a long time. The antlers are literally falling apart and just disintegrating. But uh, hopefully it'll stay up here and you know, we'll continue to see it when we're hiking in and out of here. That'll be, I was gonna say home sweet home, but we're honestly just gonna sleep here and then hunt all day, so we won't be spending much time here. But I hiked for, oh, probably a 200 yard circle around here to try and find a flat spot. That's the best we're gonna get. It's gonna be pretty rocky, but here's what's cool. If you just look right over this edge, that's the bowl that we hunted last year that we saw elk in. Well, down below it, you can't see it from here. And then on those ridges of, across from us here, we saw elk multiple times. So we can get in here the night before. We won't build a fire or anything like that. We'll just come in and sleep um, so that we don't, you know, get a smoke aroma in the air and all that kind of stuff. 
and then get up early in the morning we'll be up here on the top and ready to go so I put a pretty good sized rock in the tent it's gonna be two and a half weeks almost three weeks before we're up here and certainly we'll get some afternoon thunderstorms and stuff like that that'll bring up high winds I've got my mat in the tent but I don't have my bag I'll bring it up when we hike in uh, so I put a you know put a rock in there to add some weight to that everything's strapped down everything's tied down but I like to have a little weight in it if I'm not going to be here for a while so I'm gonna start hiking back down now thanks for coming along today and when I get home tonight we'll draw for the winter for the giveaway the little bridge we've got across took a beating this year we had heavier snowfall than usual so normally there are our three main support logs going across you can see this one in the middle is falling through then another log on the other side is falling across. But anyway, here we go. It's only about two miles to the truck from here. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see that on the glare, but I'm back at the truck. 7.12 miles. So that means the tent's half that, so about 3.55 miles is where we put the tent. So thanks for coming along today. When I get home and get cleaned up, we'll do the drawing for the giveaway. So good luck to all you guys who commented. Good evening, everybody. Thanks to everyone who helped us get to 200 subscribers. I just checked we're at 204 as I get ready to video the giveaway. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for joining us on this ride. I've got my trusty assistant Jordan again who's going to help me draw. So I've got all the names of the people who commented on the Yellowstone Day 2 video and then the uh, Utah 29 Shed Tour knocks off another county. I think it was the title of the next video. So uh, there were about uh, 35 or 40 comments I think in there so uh, we're gonna draw this right now for the mountain house backpacking food for the Coleman stove for the utensil and for the uh, little stainless steel pot and for the ice cream cone or excuse me ice cream sandwich so again thanks guys for everyone who participated and good luck to everybody who's in the hat so Jordan if you want to come draw a name for me hun fish through there for a second and peel one out and hand it to me Alright, she drew cast from the hip. So cast from the hip, uh, I just got through watching one of his videos uh, catching a big marlin off the coast of Hawaii. It looked like an awesome trip. So cast from the hip, congratulations. Uh, I'll shoot you a message on your channel and ask you to send me your uh, mailing address so I can mail the prizes to you. So thanks again everybody for joining along. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, the next giveaway will be when we hit 250 subscribers, so that'll be the next goal. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy the videos, please go ahead and subscribe and, and give the video a thumbs up and we'll work our way to 250. Thanks guys. The Minute on the Mountain today comes from Psalm 39 verse 4. It says, Show me, O Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting is my life. And so because this talks about how fleeting our life is, the Minute on the Mountain is going to be very quick. But what I would just encourage you with this verse is don't let the urgent keep you from doing the important this week because we never know if we get tomorrow or not so don't let the urgent things that seem to beg for our attention keep you from doing the important things this week thanks for coming along guys sure appreciate all of you hope you have a great week